around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Get out! Uh, why, you... You ain't throwing me out of no hope, salute. You're out and you're staying out. You took my money right enough. Now, stand aside there. Your money ain't good enough to pay for the ruckus you was causing. Now, go on, get. No, not hardly. Right, hold on there. Put that gun away. Well, who are... Put it away. That's better. Well, this ain't no job for the law. We'll see. What's the trouble, Sam? He was getting too rough, Marshal. Miss Kitty ordered him out. No saloon gals can get me through it. If she says you're out, mister, you're out. You better do your drinking someplace else. No saloon gal got any right to do any object. That'll do, mister, and I go along. One of them's got any better than she ought to be. I said move along. Kitty putting on airs, having a man throw it out. Well, I aim to get even with her. Now, you listen to me. You get away from the Long Branch and you stay away. If I hear you coming back, I'll be the one to throw you out. I'll be throwing you out of Dodge at the same time. Now, you go on. All right, Marshal. All right. But it's a funny kind of law. It's not funny to me. Now, you keep moving. Can you think of anything else we need, Sam? Might as well spend all our money as long as we're ordering. Seems to me that ought to do it, Miss Kitty. Uh -huh. I don't suppose the stuff will turn out to be any better just because we're getting a new batch. <laughs> well, I don't suppose our customers will turn out to be any better either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right about that. Whiskey. Oh, we'll have whiskey. Coming up. There you are. Uh, this is the best whiskey. It's what we got. Uh, it's not good whiskey. Like I said, it's what we got. It should be better, senor, before you take the money. Listen here, if But you I'm not here to fight about the whiskey. I'm glad to hear it. Not this time. I've come to find a man. Maybe you know him. Maybe. It's been a long time. But they tell me he is in Dodge City and I will find him. Who is he? His name is Dillon. Sam. What? I'll talk to him. Oh, sure, Miss Kitty. Uh, you will talk to me, senorita. You uh, looking for Matt Dillon? See, si. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. He's the U.S. Marshal. Then it is true. What's true? Oh, he's with the law. <laughs> this is a difference. Oh, you know him? Oh, I know him, senorita. But I do not like this talk of the law. I will have another not good whiskey, and then I will find this U.S. Marshal. <laughs> Glad I ran into you, Matt. Oh, something special? Well, yeah, there is. Oh, what's the trouble? No trouble yet. But I, I thought you should know. 
I don't know what. Well, Matt, there's a man in the Long Branch asking about you. Yeah? You know who he is? I've never seen him before. He's Mexican, and he's wearing two guns and a knife, and he says he's going to find you. Maybe I better find him first. Yeah. Thanks, Kitty. Matt. All right, Kitty. I'll take care of myself. Good to see you, Steve. I tell them I will find you. How <laughs> have you been? I heard you were looking for me with guns. Who, with guns? Yes. Yeah. For you, Don Mateo? <laughs> oh, no, never. <laughs> but wait a minute. There is a great chain. Oh? Well, what's that, Esteban? Well, it is different now. Well, what do you mean? Well, they, they call you Marshal now. You, you wear the badge. <laughs> Oh, that's different from the way it was, Don Mateo. Yeah, but things aren't different between you and me, Esteban. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Come on. This is the office of the U.S. Marshal of Dodge City. Huh? Yeah, this is it, Esteban. Let's sit down. Uh, there are many guns on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> there are more guns than we had down near the border, Don Mateo. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember all right. You know, our men just needed one gun and one fast horse. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, things were different then. It was a different time. We would go out to get a man, and we would get him. Oh, there were some fine rides, Don Mateo. That's right. At the time we brought in El Coyote, remember? Yes, I remember. All right. Six men he had with him. Six men! And hidden high in that rock castle. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a ride. Ooh, wasn't it? you ride. It was quite a ride. <laughs> you and me, Don Mateo, against them all. It was a good time. Yes, Esteban, it was a good time. I... I wonder then uh, how it is you come away. You you come here to Dodge City and become a U.S. Marshal. Oh, I don't know, Esteban. I, I guess maybe a man finds a time when, when he wants to settle down. It cannot be as good or as much enjoyment. No, it's not as much enjoyment, Esteban. <laughs> You're right there. But uh, sometimes that's good. <laughs> not very often, but sometimes. I do not understand. But I have come to bring you the enjoyment again. No? Well, what do you mean? I've come to ask you to ride with me again. <laughs> well, you're going to have to tell me more than that. Well, it is a simple thing. I've come to get a man. I followed him a long way, Don Mateo, and I will find him. If you ride with me, it will be like the days we used to have. Well, who is the man? Oh, he's a nothing. He doesn't sound like somebody you'd bother to go after. Well, you know how it is with the insect, Don Mateo. It's a nothing, but it's a bother. And it causes discomfort. And if it causes discomfort enough, if it hurts, you, you kill it. Well, that's the way it is with this man. Now, what's he done? Oh, many things. A nuisance, like, like an insect. And finally, he causes discomfort. He causes hurt to Maria. My Maria. So I've come to get him. What's his name? They call him Rallo. Rallo? Oh, yeah. Well, I can believe it. You know him? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Well... He's here now? Well, he was here a couple of days ago, but I think he's moved on. Oh, we will find him. Look, Esteban, I don't blame you for wanting to get this man, but uh, I can't ride with you. Why not, Mateo? Because he hasn't done anything to me to ride after him for. But he's no good. He, he's a nothing. He, he deserves to be killed like an insect, as I've just told you. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, 
That isn't enough, Miss Damon. A man who is bad should not leave. Maybe so, but I still can't go out with you after this man. I do not understand you. I'm sorry, Esteban. I'll tell you something else you won't understand. See? I can't let you go after him either. What are you saying to me, Don Mateo? I'm saying this. If you go after this man, and if you kill him, I'll have to come after you. You? C -c come after me? If you kill anybody. That's the way it'll have to be. Because that's the law. It is too bad. Yeah, it's too bad, Esteban. But you'd better remember what I've said. I will remember Don Mateo with a sadness. It is true. You do not have the enjoyment anymore. I'm sorry we cannot have the good right. Yeah. But just be sure that I don't have to ride after you. Are you going to have a steak, Kitty? Uh, I guess so. At least you have some idea what you're eating. Oh, I'm not sure it helps much. <laughs> All right. Uh, two steaks, huh? Okay, Marshal. Yeah, I tell you, Kitty, you always have such a fit about the food in here, you ought to open a nice little restaurant of your own. Oh, me? Run a restaurant? Uh, sure, you can cook all the steaks just the way you think they should oh, be. Oh, no, all yeah. right, Matt, all right. I'll quit complaining. <laughs> Anything to keep from cooking. Oh, here comes Chester. I've been wondering what's kept him away from the food this long. Uh, <laughs> Sit down, Chester. We'll order another steak. Well, that's not what I come for. No. Uh, at least he's not right off. You didn't come to eat at dinner time? Oh, I, I could eat, all right, but I got this message from Mr. Dillon. Oh, oh what is it, Chester? Uh, Doc wants to see you. Oh, where is he? Up in his office. You mean he wants me to go up there before I eat my dinner? Well, I don't know about that, Mr. Dillon, but Doc's got some fellow up there that's been shot. Oh. You know who he is? Oh, sir, I know. Doc just told me some dirt farmer from out of town, Summers. Did he get shot here in Dodge? Well, no, sir, I don't think he did. How do you know who shot him? No, sir, they, they didn't say no names. Some rider, though, wearing a Mexican outfit. Well, you go ahead, Chester, and eat my steak when it comes, and I'll... I'll see you later. Oh, hello, Mac. Come in. Come hello, in. Doc. Uh, Matt, I thought you ought to know about this. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this man, uh, his name is Grimes, is pretty bewildered about the whole thing. Now, come on, come on into the other room here. Okay. Uh, is he bad hurt? Uh, he'll be all right. Now, Grimes, he's Marshal. Oh. Marshal? Hello, Grimes. You, uh, you want to tell me how you got shot? Now, I, I don't want to get in no trouble, Marshal. Seems to me you've already had the trouble. I don't know why he come along and shot me, Marshal. Well, that's what I want to find out. I, I ain't never bothered nobody. I'm a man to mind my own business. Yeah. Well, this is my business now, Grimes. You tell me what happened. Huh? What? It just don't make no sense. Come on, Grimes. Are you sure I ought to talk, Doc? You... You sure it ain't too hard on me? No, it's not going to hurt you a bit. It'll probably make you feel better, if anything. Uh, you sure? I'm sure, yes. Come on, speak up, man. Uh, all right, then. <clears throat> I was sawing some wood out back of my place. Oh, where's that? But Twelve mile west on Branch Creek. Ain't never no water, though. Leastways, not when you need it. Yeah. Go on. What? I was sawing this wood when a fellow rode by. He 
asked could he fill his canteen from the well. I said, why, sure, you go ahead. I, I ain't one to be selfish, Marshal. Did you know this man? <laughs> Never seen him, Marshal. He, he, he told me, though, that he was on his way to Colorado. I figured he was one of them drifters and didn't pay too much attention. He's not the one who shot you? Well, it's more like he was the one that was shot at. All right, Grime, just tell me the story, huh? Well, we was talking there at the well a bit, and all of a sudden this other fella come riding up. He didn't even slow his horse down none, and he was uh, yelling and uh, hollering, and he started shooting. Did he get the drift or two? Well, I'm not sure, Marshal. To tell you the truth, I just started running for the barn. I got on my horse, and I come into town. I didn't do no looking around. All right, Brian. Thank you. Well, you wouldn't blame a man for looking after himself first, would you, Marshal? No, not if you don't. Uh... You take good care of him, Doc. Oh, yes, sure. I'll warn him as a witness. I'll see you later. I think, Mr. Jones, it sure would have helped if that Grimes fella just took the time to look around a little bit and seen who was shot and who wasn't. Uh, he was too busy staying out of trouble, Chester. He sure did leave a lot of trouble for us. I'll say that for him. Ah, don't worry about it. We're paid to take care of trouble. Mm. I guess you're right. <laughs> Look at there. Ain't much of a house, is it? No. Somebody built a fire out front there. Yeah, we're we'll right up to it. Who in the world is that? You've come to join me after all. You know I haven't come to join you, Esteban. <laughs> my head tells me you will not join me, but my heart still hopes it is so. What is he talking about, Mr. Dillon? Never mind, Chester. Uh, you are a friend of Don Mateo, the marshal. Well, I sure I am. To be friends, it is a good thing, is it not, Mateo? Yeah, it's a good thing. I welcome you to share my fire. You would like some coffee? No, thanks. Esteban, there's a farmer in the doctor's office back in Dodge who's been shot. This is his place. Sure, wow, I did not think he would make it all the way. He was riding so fast. He was nearly fallen from the horse. He says you shot him. He was a very frightened man. Did you shoot him? See, si. I told him to stand still. He started to run. So you shot him? Well, he, he got in the way, Don Mateo. Yeah, he got in the way. It is not good to run. What about Rollo? <laughs> you mean the man who is nothing? Did you shoot him too? It is possible. What do you mean by that? I mean that he was running too, Don Mateo. You don't know if he shot him? Not yet, but I will shoot him. That much I know. Where is he? He's out there. In them rocks? See, si, he's in the rocks. Hiding in a cave in the rocks. And you figure to go get him, huh? Oh, I do not have to go get him. He will be coming to me. Oh? How's that? There's no food there, Don Mateo. There's no water. Even a man who's in nothing, who, who's an insect, must eat and he must drink. Even a man who runs will come back for that. Well, he might get you, Esteban. Oh, I forgot to tell you. While he was running, his gun he just happened to drop. Just happened, then? You didn't shoot it out of his hand? <laughs> would have to be a very good shot, would it not? Yeah, a very good shot. Esteban, we're going to bring him out of there. You're a good friend, Don Mateo, 
But it would not be wise for you to interfere. That's my job. I do not like this job of yours. Well, right now, I don't like it much either. Chester. Yes, sir? You go on up and get Rollo out of the cave. I'll stay here with the stay button. All right, sir. I'm surprised that you don't, Mateo. Don't let it worry you. It should worry you, Senor Marshal. You're forcing me to shoot your friend, Chester. You know me better than that. You make one move and I shoot you. <laughs> You'd have to be the fast one, Don Mateo. In the old days, you were not always able to beat me at the draw of the gun. I'll take a chance. Now then... <laughs> It's all right, Chester. You got him. Don Mateo. Yeah, Esteban. Today you are the fastest shot. Yeah, today I am. I'm sorry. It was my job. It's a sad thing for a job to come between friends. Yes, it is. It's a sad thing to see a friend take a job without the enjoyment. He's... He's dead, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. And he was right. This was a job without enjoyment. and directed in Hollywood by Norman McDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Don Diamond, Vic Perrin, Barney Phillips, and James Nusser. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Hawkins is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke has come to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. been listening to the OTR Gold Network. 
Find more classic radio at otrgold.com. Mm-hmm.